explain forward and backward pass within the critical path method. Larry Jeffers Race Cars, Project Nitro Fury, applying CPM with forward and backward passes Larry Jeffers Race Cars, LJRC, is revving up for the upcoming dragster season with Project Nitro Fury, aiming to break their current quarter mile ET record, elapsed time, of 5.72 seconds with their top dragster, the Black Kip Kush Reich. Here's how CPM with forward and backward passes will guide them. Scenario 1, Engine Rebuild, Critical Path Impact, Task, Completely Rebuild the Black Kip Kush S High Performance Engine, Predecessor for many other tasks. Duration, Estimated 20 days, ES equals day 0, EF equals day 20. This is a critical activity with no predecessors, so it says starts at project start, day 0, and DF is day 0 plus 20 days. Impact, LJRC discovers a cracked engine block during routine maintenance requiring a full rebuild. This pushes the engine rebuild CF to day 25, 5 days delay, due to unexpected machine shop backlog. Forward pass update, all subsequent tasks dependent on the engine rebuild, for example, dyno tuning, chassis upgrades, will have their ES and EF pushed back by 5 days. Backward pass analysis, the critical path is likely impacted as it most likely involves the engine rebuild. Recalculating the LF and LS for dependent tasks will confirm the critical path. Impact, the delay in the engine rebuild throws the entire project schedule into jeopardy. The critical path may shift, potentially delaying the Black Kip Kushrike S debut and testing window. Mitigation strategies, explore options to expedite the engine rebuild, for example, overnight machining, prioritize placement in the machine shop queue. Analyze the float, LS minus ES of non-critical path tasks to see if there's room for rescheduling to absorb some of the engine rebuild delay. Scenario 2, Custom Nitrous System Installation, Float and Schedule Flexibility, Task, Install a Custom, High Flow Nitrous Oxide Injection System, Predecessor for Testing the Nitrous System. Duration, Estimated 5 Days, ES equals Day 10, EF equals Day 15. This task has the engine rebuild, completed by Day 20, as a predecessor, so its ES is Day 10 after the engine rebuild is finished. Float, LJRC identifies a 5-day float, LS equals day 15, LF equals day 20, for the Nitrous system installation. Backward pass analysis, the Nitrous system installation has a float, indicating some scheduling flexibility. Impact, even if the Nitrous system installation experiences minor delays, it won't necessarily impact the critical path as long as it's completed before testing begins which may have a later LS due to float in its schedule. Scenario 3, Dino Tuning, Iterative Process with Uncertain Duration, Task, Dino Tune the Black Kip Kush Reich with a new engine and nitrous system to optimize performance. Duration, Uncertain, Estimated at 3-5 days, ES equals day 22, EF equals day 27. This task depends on both the engine rebuild and nitrous system installation. We use the latest possible ES, day 22 assuming both predecessors are completed by then. Iterative process, dyno tuning is an iterative process where adjustments are made based on results. The actual duration can vary. Forward pass, the uncertain dyno tuning duration can introduce some risks to the schedule. Mitigation strategies, schedule buffer days after the estimated EF to account for potential dyno tuning extensions. Clearly defined performance targets and stopping criteria for dyno tuning to keep it efficient. Conclusion. By applying CPM with forward and backward passes, Larry Jeffers race cars can proactively manage Project Nitro Fury. They can identify critical tasks, engine rebuild, assess schedule flexibility, nitrous system installation float, and mitigate risks, dyno tuning uncertainty. This data-driven approach ensures the Black Kip Kushrike roars onto the track, aiming to shatter that 5.72 second record. The forward pass and backward pass are techniques used in project management specifically within the critical path method, CPM, to determine a project's schedule and identify critical tasks. They work together to calculate the early start, ES, early finish, EF, late start, LS, and late finish, LF, for each activity in the project. Forward pass, starting point, you begin with the project's start date, usually day zero. Moving forward, you move through the project network diagram, one activity at a time following the dependencies between tasks. Early start, ES, for each activity, the ES is the maximum of the ES values of its predecessor activities, activities that need to be completed before it can start. 
if an activity has no predecessors, its ES is simply the project start date. Early finish, EF, the EF for an activity is calculated by adding the activity's duration to its ES. EF equals ES plus duration. Backward pass, starting point, you begin with the project's plan end date. Moving backward, you move backward through the network diagram, again following the dependencies. Late finish, LF. The LF for an activity is the minimum of the LF values of its successor activities, activities that cannot start until it's finished. If an activity has no successors, its LF is the project's end date. Late start, LS. The LS for an activity is calculated by subtracting the activity's duration from its LF. LS equals LF minus duration. Why are they important? Identify critical path. By comparing the ES and LF of each activity, you can identify the project's critical path. The critical path is the longest sequence of dependent activities that determines the project's overall duration. Any delay on a critical path activity will directly delay the entire project. Schedule flexibility. Activities with a difference between ES and LS, LS minus ES equals float, have some scheduling flexibility. This float represents the amount of time an activity can be delayed without impacting the project's end date. It helps with resource allocation and risk management. Together, the forward and backward passes provide a complete picture of the project schedule, highlighting critical tasks and areas with potential slack. Larry Jeffers Race Cars, Project Schedule Building a Pro Modified Dragster for Luke Duke. Building a Pro Modified Dragster to defeat Boss Hog is no easy feat, and even for Larry Jeffers Race Cars, this project presents a unique set of challenges. Here's a revised scenario incorporating Luke Duke and specific measurable details, Client, Luke Duke. Legendary Hazard County Moonshiner and Drag Racing Enthusiast. Goal, design, fabricate, and assemble a custom Pro Modified Dragster capable of achieving a 3.5 second elapsed time, ET, at 220 miles per hour trap speed in the 8th mile, outperforming Boss Hogg's new drag car. Project schedule, using a Gantt chart in a spreadsheet, task owner start date due date duration, weeks. Percent complete target cost actual cost variance project kickoff meeting Larry Jeffers Luke Duke day 1 day 1 0 0.1 100 $500 $500 0 dollars requirements gathering design engineering team day 2 week 4 3 20 12 thousand dollars material procurement high strength chromoly steel tubing lightweight carbon fiber components high performance engine block purchasing team week 2 week 6 4 40 180 thousand dollars Custom chassis fabrication, including stress analysis and NHRA certification, fabrication team week 6 week 18 12 0 $75,000. Engine selection acquisition, for example, twin turbocharged big block Chevy engine, engine specialist week 4 week 7 360 $50,000. Engine modifications, internal component upgrades, custom camshaft, fuel injection system, engine specialist week 8 week 15 7 0 $30,000. Driver train assembly, heavy duty racing transmission, lightweight drive shaft, driver train specialist week 13 week 1740 $25,000. Body fabrication aerodynamics, lightweight fiberglass body panels, aerodynamic design for low drag and downforce, fabrication team week 19 week 25640 $40,000. Paint decals, eye catching paint scheme with the General Lee logo and Cooters Garage sponsorship. Paint Specialist Week 26 Week 27 $1.505,000 Vehicle Assembly Testing, including Initial Shakedown Runs and Performance Tuning, Team Lead Crew Week 28 Week 32 $40,000 $15,000 Dollars. Final Adjustments Dyno Tuning, Fine Tuning Engine Management System and Suspension for Maximum Power and Handling, Engine Specialist Crew Chief Week 33 Week 34 $10,000 $10, Trailer Transportation Enclosed trailer for safe transport to and from race events, logistics team week 32 week 34 to $78,000. Test tune event at local drag strip, initial performance evaluation and driver familiarization, Luke Duke crew chief week 35 week 35 $0.5, $2,000, entry fee, fuel. Drive underscore spreadsheet export to sheets measurable metrics, project duration, 35 weeks target completion date. Start date plus 35 weeks, assuming a specific start date is assigned, key milestones, design finalized with Luke's input, week 4, material procurement complete, week 6, chassis fabrication complete, week 18, engine modifications complete, week 15, 
Vehicle assembly complete, week 28, performance target, 3.5 second DT at 220 miles per hour trap speed in the 8th mile budget, $440,500, including target costs for materials, labor, and miscellaneous expenses. Larry Jeffers Race Cars, building a pro-modified dragster for Luke Duke, continued, communication collaboration, regular meetings will be held between Larry Jeffers, the engineering team, and Luke Duke to ensure clear communication and address any questions or concerns. Luke's input will be valued throughout the design process, particularly regarding the car's handling characteristics and overall driving experience. Challenges mitigation strategies, budget constraints, Larry Jeffers Race Cars understands Luke's financial limitations. The team will explore cost-saving measures while maintaining performance targets. This may involve using used or reconditioned parts where possible and seeking sponsorships from local businesses like Cooter's Garage. Tie Timeline Achieving a 3.5 second DT in the 8 mile is an aggressive goal. Larry Jeffers will implement critical path scheduling techniques to identify and prioritize tasks on the project schedule. This ensures that critical tasks with dependencies on other tasks are completed on time to avoid delays. Overtime might be necessary during crucial phases of the build but worker fatigue will be closely monitored to maintain safety and quality. Unique requirements, Luke desires a car that not only performs exceptionally but also retains the iconic look and feel of the General Lee. The design team will creatively integrate classic design elements like the orange paint scheme and the 01 racing number into the high-performance pro-modified chassis. Success criteria, the project will be considered a success if it meets the following criteria. The car achieves a consistent 3.5 second DT in the 8 mile during official races. The car maintains excellent drivability and control for Luke. The car stays within the revised budget, considering potential cost-saving measures. The car embodies the spirit of the General Lee with Luke's approval of the design and performance. By implementing a clear project schedule, fostering open communication, and addressing potential challenges head-on, Larry Jeffers Race Cars aims to deliver a championship-winning dragster for Luke Duke allowing him to outrun Boss Hogg and uphold Hazard County Moonshine Pride. Project Plan Best Practices Project Plan Best Practices, Larry Jeffers Racing Cheaters, Enhanced Here's a more detailed scenario with fictional numerical specifics and measurable details for Larry Jeffers Racing Cheaters, incorporating the five best practices for building a project plan. 1. Ensure careful review, deliverable, design and manufacture a new Aerodynamic race car chassis targeting a cheetah-like leap in performance, 25% weight reduction and 10% drag coefficient improvement over the current model. Milestones, Milestone 1, Week 1 3, Finalize design specifications with the engineering pride, target weight, 750 pounds, drag coefficient, 0.27. This milestone includes, Task 1.1, Week 1. Conduct a comparative analysis of lightweight materials using finite element analysis FIA, software to identify the strongest, swiftest options. Task 1.2, Week 2, develop a 3D CAD model of the chassis incorporating weight-saving features and improved aerodynamics, inspired by a cheetah's sleek form. Task 1.3, Week 3, conduct design reviews with the engineering pride, twice a week, to evaluate performance, manufacturability, and cost. Refine the design based on feedback, aiming for a true cheetah like advantage. 2. Give yourself time to plan, Larry Jeffers Racing Cheetahs recognizes the critical upcoming race and allocates three weeks for thorough planning. This allows for a detailed breakdown of tasks, identification of potential roadblocks, and realistic time estimations with a 15% buffer built in to accommodate unforeseen delays. 3. Recognize plan for the inevitable, potential risk. Material delays due to supplier issues, probability, 20%. Mitigation plan, identify two alternative suppliers with readily available materials. Secure backup materials for critical components to minimize downtime, for example, maintain a one-week buffer of essential materials. Potential risk, design modifications required after wind tunnel testing, impacting manufacturing timeline, probability, 30%. Mitigation plan. Schedule additional design review meetings during the manufacturing phase to address changes promptly. Allocate a dedicated week after wind tunnel testing for potential design adjustments before resuming fabrication. 4. Stay curious, Larry Jeffers, the CEO, meets with the engineering team to understand their design approach, potential challenges related to material selection and weight reduction, and their confidence in achieving the cheetah-like performance targets.
He also consults with the fabrication team to ensure they have the necessary equipment and expertise to build the chassis according to the complex aerodynamic design specifications. 5. Champion your plan. The project plan is presented to the entire team using a clear and concise Gantt chart highlighting key milestones, tasks, owners, and deadlines. Larry Jeffers emphasizes the importance of adhering to the plan to achieve the project goals within the set time frame and budget, target completion date, one week before the upcoming race target budget, $25,000. He outlines the benefits of the plan, improved communication and collaboration. The plan serves as a single source of truth for the entire team, facilitating clear communication and coordinated efforts. Enhanced visibility and progress tracking, milestones and tasks with owners and deadlines provide clear visibility into project progress, allowing for timely identification and resolution of any roadblocks. Proactive risk management, the plan incorporates mitigation strategies for potential risks, minimizing their impact on the project schedule and budget. Increased team accountability, Assigning tasks with clear ownership fosters a sense of accountability and ownership among team members. Implementation and monitoring. Weekly team meetings are established to discuss progress, address any issues that arise, and update the plan as needed. A project management tool is utilized to track task completion, resource allocation, and budget expenditures. Progress reports are generated and shared with key stakeholders, for example, race team sponsors, to maintain transparency and garner support. Benefits realized, by following these best practices, Larry Jeffers Racing Cheetahs can expect several benefits, increased success rate, a well-defined plan increases the likelihood of completing the project on time, within budget, and meeting performance targets, weight reduction and drag coefficient improvement. Improved team efficiency, clear communication, defined roles, and progress tracking lead to a more efficient and streamlined project execution. Enhanced team morale. A well-managed project fosters a sense of accomplishment and motivates the team by keeping everyone informed and engaged. Competitive advantage, a successfully completed project translates to a lighter, faster race car, potentially improving Larry Jeffers Racing Cheetah's performance and ranking in the upcoming race, leaving the competition in the dust. By implementing these project plan best practices, Larry Jeffers Racing Cheetah's positions itself for a cheetah-like leap forward. The team will be well equipped to achieve its goals of a lighter faster car while boosting team morale and gaining a competitive edge. This not only increases their chances of success in the upcoming race but also lays the groundwork for future advancements, keeping Larry Jeffers Racing Cheetahs at the forefront of the racing world. Project Plan Best Practices, Larry Jeffers Race Cars, Enhanced. Here's a more detailed scenario with fictional numerical specifics and measurable details for Larry Jeffers Race Cars, incorporating the five best practices for building a project plan. One. Ensure careful review, deliverable, design and manufacture a new, aerodynamic race car chassis targeting a 25% weight reduction and 10% drag coefficient improvement over the current model. Milestones, Milestone 1, Week 1 3, finalize design specifications with engineers, target weight, 750 pounds, drag coefficient, 0.27. This milestone includes, Task 1.1, Week 1. Conduct a comparative analysis of lightweight materials using finite element analysis, FIA, software to identify optimal options. Task 1.2, Week 2, develop 3D CAD model of the chassis incorporating weight-saving features and improved aerodynamics. Task 1.3, Week 3, conduct design reviews with engineers, twice a week, to evaluate performance, manufacturability, and cost. Refine design based on feedback. Milestone 2, Week 4-7. Source and procure high-strength, lightweight materials, target cost, $22,000. This milestone includes, Task 2.1, Week 4, Research and compare material options from at least three potential suppliers. Task 2.2, Week 5, Request quotes from vendors, ensuring they meet material specifications, for example, tensile strength, weight, and delivery timelines. Task 2.3, Week 6-7, Negotiate contracts with selected vendors, securing favorable pricing and on-time delivery commitments. Milestone 3, Week 8 14, Manufacture and Assemble the Chassis Prototype. This milestone includes, Task 3.1, Week 8 11, Fabrication of Chassis Components using advanced techniques, for example, laser cutting, robotic welding, to ensure precision and repeatability. Task 3.2, Week 12, 
component assembly and initial fit checks to identify any fitment issues. Task 3.3, Week 13-14, Complete Chassis Assembly and Conduct Quality Control Inspections to ensure all components meet specifications. Milestone 4, Week 15-18, Wind Tunnel Testing and Performance Evaluation, Target Drag Coefficient, 0.27 or lower. This milestone includes, Task 4.1, Week 15, Schedule Wind Tunnel Time at a reputable facility with capabilities to measure drag coefficient and downforce. Task 4.2, Week 16, Prepare the chassis for wind tunnel testing, including instrumentation for date to acquisition. Task 4.3, Week 17, Conduct wind tunnel tests at various speeds and configurations to gather performance data. Task 4.4, Week 18, Analyze test data, identify areas for improvement, and make adjustments to the chassis design if necessary. 2. Give yourself time to plan. Larry Jeffers Race Cars recognizes the critical upcoming race and allocates three weeks for thorough planning. This allows for a detailed breakdown of tasks, identification of potential risks, and realistic time estimations with a 15% buffer built in to accommodate unforeseen delays. 3. Recognize plan for the inevitable, potential risk, material delays due to supplier issues, probability, 20%. Mitigation plan, identify two alternative suppliers with readily available materials. Secure backup materials for critical components to minimize downtime, for example, maintain a one-week buffer of essential materials. Potential risk, design modifications required after wind tunnel testing, impacting manufacturing timeline, probability, 30%. Mitigation plan, schedule additional design review meetings during the manufacturing phase to address changes promptly. Allocate a dedicated week after wind tunnel testing for potential design adjustments before resuming fabrication. Four. Stay curious, Larry Jeffers meets with the engineering team to understand their design approach, potential challenges related to material selection and weight reduction, and their confidence in achieving the performance targets. He also consults with the fabrication team to ensure they have the necessary equipment and expertise to build the chassis according to the complex design specifications. 5. Champion your plan. The project plan is presented to the entire team using a clear and concise Gantt chart highlighting key milestones, tasks, owners and deadlines. Larry Jeffers emphasizes the importance of adhering to the plan to achieve the project goals within the set time frame and budget, target completion date, one week before the upcoming race target budget, $25,000. He outlines the benefits of the plan, improved communication and collaboration. The plan serves as a single source of truth for the entire team, facilitating clear communication and coordinated efforts. Enhanced visibility and progress tracking. Milestones and tasks with owners and deadlines provide clear visibility into project progress, allowing for timely identification and resolution of any roadblocks. Proactive risk management, the plan incorporates mitigation strategies for potential risks, minimizing their impact on the project schedule and budget. Increased team accountability, assigning tasks with clear ownership fosters a sense of accountability and ownership among team members. Implementation and monitoring. Weekly team meetings are established to discuss progress, address any issues that arise, and update the plan as needed. A project management tool is utilized to track task completion, resource allocation, and budget expenditures. Progress reports are generated and shared with key stakeholders, for example, race team sponsors, to maintain transparency and garner support. Benefits realized by following these best practices, Larry Jeffers Race Cars can expect several benefits. Increased success rate, a well-defined plan increases the likelihood of completing the project on time, within budget, and meeting performance targets, weight reduction and drag coefficient improvement. Improved team efficiency, clear communication, defined roles, and progress tracking lead to a more efficient and streamlined project execution. Enhanced team morale, a well-managed project fosters a sense of accomplishment and motivates the team by keeping everyone informed and engaged. Competitive advantage, a successfully completed project translates to a lighter, faster race car, potentially improving Larry Jeffers' race car's performance and ranking in the upcoming race. By implementing these project plan best practices, Larry Jeffers' race car's positions itself for a successful outcome, achieving its goals while boosting team morale and gaining a competitive edge. Project plan best practices, key takeaways ensure careful review, break down project deliverables, for example, website into milestones, for example, stakeholder approval, and tasks, for example, design mockups, for clarity. Give yourself time to plan, 
planning is crucial, especially for complex projects. It allows for realistic timelines and buffer time for unexpected issues. Recognize plan for the inevitable, setbacks are common. Identify potential risks and create mitigation plans, for example, buffer time. Stay curious, ask questions. Get insights from teammates about their tasks to build a stronger plan and foster trust. Understand stakeholder and vendor expectations. Champion your plan, choose a user-friendly tool, ensure clarity for stakeholders, and promote the plan's benefits to gain buy-in from your team. Keeping stakeholders informed, Larry Jeffers Racing Cheetahs with Animal Metaphors. Larry Jeffers Racing Cheetahs recognizes the importance of keeping stakeholders informed throughout the new race car chassis development project, targeting a cheetah-like leap in performance, 25% weight reduction and 10% drag coefficient improvement. Here's how they plan to achieve this with measurable details and specific communication strategies tailored to each stakeholder group, using animal metaphors to represent different project management phases. Stakeholders Larry Jeffers, CEO, The Lion primary decision maker and provider of the Pride's resources. Engineering team, 10 members, the pack of wolves, responsible for design and development, working with keen intelligence and teamwork. Fabrication team, 8 members, the herd of Mustangs, responsible for building the chassis with power and precision. Race team sponsors, 3 companies, the Gazelle herd, providing financial and promotional support, totaling $1.2 million, in exchange for a winning partnership. Communication strategies, Weekly Cheetah Sprints, concise reports delivered via email within 24 hours of each week's send. The report will include Key milestones achieved, measured accomplishments against the project plan, including completion percentages for tasks within each milestone. For example, milestone 1, design finalization minus 80% complete. Tasks completed, list of completed tasks with actual time spent compared to estimated time. This identifies potential areas for improvement in future estimations. For example, Task 1.2, 3D CAD model development, completed two days ahead of schedule. Upcoming hunts, planned tasks for the coming week with estimated durations. For example, Task 2.1, material selection analysis, estimated duration three days. Potential roadblocks, identified challenges and proposed mitigation plans. For example, Potential delay due to supplier negotiations, mitigation, secure quotes from two additional suppliers by day 7. Fortnightly design reviews, virtual, the pack of wolves presents design progress to the lion and a designated representative from each gazelle company, three attendees. Meetings will be recorded and shared with the entire team for transparency. Key decisions and next steps will be documented in a shared online document accessible to all stakeholders. Meeting success metric, achieve at least 80% agreement on design decisions during meetings. Monthly team huddle, an open forum for the entire team, Wolves Mustangs, to discuss project progress. Larry Jeffers, the Lion, will provide a brief update, followed by dedicated QA sessions. Meeting minutes with key decisions and action items will be circulated to all stakeholders within 48 hours. Meeting engagement metric, Measure the number of questions and suggestions raised by team members during the QA sessions. Aim for at least five questions, suggestions per meeting. Project management tool access. Stakeholders will be granted access to a user-friendly online project management tool, a digital watering hole. This tool will provide real-time visibility into Interactive Gantt chart. Visually track project progress against the timeline, including task dependencies and resource allocation. Budget tracking dashboard. Monitor project expenditures against the allocated budget of $250,000. Identify any potential budget variances early for corrective action. Document sharing platform, share project documents, reports, and meeting recordings in a central location for easy access by all stakeholders. Tailoring communication. Larry Jeffers, the Lion receives weekly cheetah sprints with a high-level overview and a bi-monthly executive summary highlighting critical achievements, potential risks, and budget updates. Engineering team, pack of wolves, attend weekly cheetah sprints to discuss task completion and upcoming hunts. Utilize the project management tool for detailed task breakdowns and communication with team members. Fabrication team, herd of mustangs participate in monthly team huddles and utilize the project management tool to access task details, schedules, and relevant documents. Race team sponsors, Gazelle Herd, receive weekly cheetah sprints focusing on project progress related to performance targets, weight reduction, drag coefficient, 
and budget adherence. Attend bi-monthly virtual meetings with Larry Jeffers, The Lion, to discuss project implications on race performance and secure sponsor feedback, suggestions. By implementing these communication strategies with measurable metrics, Larry Jeffers Racing Cheaters can ensure all stakeholders are informed, engaged, and contribute to the project's success. This fosters a collaborative environment and increases the likelihood of achieving the ambitious performance goals for the new, aerodynamic race car chassis, leaving the competition in the dust. I'm here to help you practice and reinforce your understanding of the key concepts related to project planning and time estimation. Question 1. What are the components of a project plan? Imagine you're building a giant pizza. A project plan is like a recipe to make sure your pizza is the cheesiest, most delicious masterpiece ever. Here's what it includes, the goal, what kind of pizza are you making? For example, supreme, veggie, this is like Larry Jeffers race car's goal, to build a super fast race car that wins. The steps, tasks, what do you need to do to get that pizza done? For example, make the dough, gather trappings, bake it. Larry Jeffers race car also has many steps, like designing the car, ordering parts, and assembling it. Idiris Isidilla. Who's on kitchen duty, people? Who's helping you make this pizza masterpiece? For example, you, a friend. Similarly, Larry Jeffers Race Cars has different people for each task. Engineers design, mechanics build, and painters make it look sharp. At the timeline, when do you need each step done? For example, preheat oven before adding toppings. A project plan keeps Larry Jeffers Race Cars on track, ensuring parts arrive and each step is done on time for the race. The ingredients, resources. What do you need to make this pizza? For example, flour, cheese, pepperoni. Larry Jeffers race cars also needs a bunch of stuff, like metal for the car's body, a powerful engine, and special tools. Why Larry Jeffers race cars? Idiris's Sedilla building a race car is like making a giant pizza, it has a lot of moving parts. Larry Jeffers race cars is a great example because their project involves many things to keep track of, just like all the ingredients and steps in your pizza recipe. A project plan helps them stay organized, make the race car on time, and ultimately, win races. Question 2. How would you describe the process of making realistic time estimates in project planning? Project time estimates, how long will it take to build your dream treehouse, or race car? Building something cool, like a treehouse or, like Larry Jeffers race cars, a super fast race car, requires a plan. Part of that plan is figuring out how long each step will take. Here's how to make realistic guesses for your project. Break it down. Imagine your treehouse. What are the main parts? Walls, roof, ladder? Same with a race car, engine, chassis, wheels. Listing these steps helps estimate time for each. Think time spent. How long might building a wall take? Maybe an afternoon with a friend. Larry Jeffers race cars knows how long it usually takes to weld a chassis or install an engine. Consider hiccups. Stuff rarely goes perfectly. Maybe you run out of nails for the treehouse, or a race car part arrives late. Adding buffer time for these unexpected delays is smart. Ask for help, not sure how long something takes? Talk to someone who's done it before. For Larry Jeffers race cars, experienced mechanics can estimate how long engine work might take. Why Larry Jeffers race cars? Building a race car is like building a complex treehouse. There are many steps, and some might be new to you. Larry Jeffers Race Cars is a great example because they have a lot of experience building race cars. They can use their past knowledge to estimate how long each step, like welding the frame or painting the car, will take to complete the project on time. By following these tips, you can create realistic time estimates for your project, whether it's building a treehouse or becoming the next champion racer like Luke Duke with Larry Jeffers Race Cars help. Question 3. Why is it important to overcome the planning fallacy in project planning? Project planning fails, why we underestimate time, and how Larry Jeffers race cars avoids it. Have you ever planned a project and thought it'd be a breeze, only to find yourself scrambling at the last minute? That's the planning fallacy in action. Here's why overcoming it's important. Time flies when you're having fun. We often underestimate how long things take. It's easy to forget unexpected delays or how much time small tasks can eat up. Imagine planning a movie marathon. You think three movies in four hours sounds easy. But what if there are long trailers, bathroom breaks, and popcorn refills? Suddenly, it's getting late. Race against the clock, Larry Jeffers race cars can't afford this. Underestimating how long it takes to build a race car could mean missing a race or rushing the job, leading to mistakes. Budget blues, 
Running out of time can also hurt your wallet. Rushed projects might require expensive last-minute solutions, blowing the budget. How Larry Jeffers Race Cars wins the time battle, experience is key, they've built race cars before, so they know how long tasks typically take based on past projects. Planning every step, they break down the project into small tasks and estimate the time for each, factoring in possible delays. Open communication, the team talks regularly, so if something takes longer than expected, they can adjust the schedule to stay on track. By overcoming the planning fallacy, Larry Jeffers Race Cars avoids project delays, avoids going over budget, and focuses on building the best race cars possible to win races. So remember, realistic time estimates are crucial for project success, just like planning for those popcorn refills during your movie marathon. Project Management at Larry Jeffers Race Cars, Case Studies Larry Jeffers Race Cars, LJRC, specializes in building and tuning high-performance race cars. Their success relies heavily on meticulous project planning to ensure timely completion within budget and achieve peak performance on the track. Here are two fictional scenarios showcasing project management at LJRC. Scenario 1, Back-to-Back -back Six Summer Domination Project, Prepare the Thick Build Raven, a 1967 Chevrolet Camaro, to compete in five consecutive six summer events across the country. Goal, win all five events and achieve a personal best elapsed time, ET in the six-second range in the quarter mile. Project plan, task breakdown, engine rebuild, four weeks, target, 3,800 horsepower, transmission rebuild, two weeks, target, handle increased power, suspension and chassis upgrades, three weeks, target, improved weight distribution and handling, aerodynamic optimization, one week, target, reduced drag, dyno tuning and testing, one week, target, Optimize air fuel ratio and ignition timing, transportation and logistics, ongoing, target, minimize downtime between events, project management tools, Gantt chart, visualizes the project timeline with task dependencies and deadlines. Project management software, tracks task progress, resource allocation, and budget. Communication tools, regular team meetings and online collaboration platforms ensure everyone is on the same page. Metrics, cost. Budget set at $130,000 for parts and labor. Performance, track ETs at each event, aiming for a cumulative improvement of 0.5 seconds across the week. Schedule, monitor progress against the Gantt chart and adjust as needed. Outcome, through meticulous planning and execution, LJRC achieves their goals. The Thick Build Raven wins all five six summer events and sets a new personal best ET of 6.60 seconds. The project stays within budget and the car performs flawlessly throughout the grueling competition. Scenario 2, building a budget-friendly drag-and-drive monster project, build a competitive drag-and-drive hot rod from a customer-supplied 1974 Torino, targeting a limited budget of $75,000. Goal, achieve a 858th mile time at the local drag-and-drive event. Project plan, task prioritization, focus on essential performance upgrades while keeping an eye on budget constraints. Value engineering, seek cost-effective alternatives, such as used parts or refurbished components, while maintaining performance standards. Phased approach, break down the project into smaller phases to manage cash flow and allow for adjustments as results become available. Metrics, cost, track expenses meticulously, staying within the $75,000 budget. Performance, monitor 8 mile times during test sessions at the track, aiming for a cumulative improvement of 1.5 seconds. Customer satisfaction, regularly communicate with the customer, ensuring they are happy with the build process and car's performance. Outcome, by employing a strategic project management approach, LJRC delivers a competitive Ford Arino within budget. The car achieves an 8 mile time of 8.49 at the track, exceeding the customer's expectations. This project demonstrates the importance of adapting plans for budgetary limitations while still achieving impressive results. These scenarios showcase how Larry Jeffers Race Cars leverages project management to achieve success. By carefully defining goals, breaking down tasks, tracking progress, and adapting to challenges, LJRC ensures timely project completion, peak vehicle performance, and satisfied customers. Project Plans, Tools and Templates Why are project plans important? Capture project scope and timeline. Act as a project blueprint. Outline activities and milestones for success. Choosing the right tool, simple project, use a spreadsheet. Complex project, use project management software. Key information to include in the project plan, task ID slash name, 
for easy reference, task durations, estimated time to complete, start and finish dates, to track progress, responsible person, task owner, using spreadsheets for project plans, good for simple projects with clear task assignments, requires manual data entry, offers customization options, example, website launch project plan in a Gantt chart format, see graphic, pro tip, include work breakdown structure, WBS, numbers for consistency, spreadsheet templates, online tutorials recommended to learn functionalities links provided to templates, Smartsheet, project plan templates for Microsoft Word, Google Sheets, Google project plan timeline template, Microsoft Gantt chart template, work management tools, many options available, for example, Smartsheet, Asana, Jira, Trello, facilitate collaboration and communication at a task level. Each company, project manager, customer may have a preference. Key takeaway, the project plan creation tool should help you with collecting and tracking project details, managing the project schedule, visualizing project progress. A clear, thorough, and organized project plan is key to project management success. Benefits of a strong project plan, improved communication, a well-defined plan keeps everyone on the same page regarding tasks, deadlines, and dependencies. This reduces confusion and miscommunication within the team and with stakeholders. Enhanced efficiency, by outlining the tasks and their durations, the project manager can identify potential bottlenecks and optimize the workflow. This leads to a more efficient use of resources and time. Reduced risks, a comprehensive plan helps identify potential risks and develop mitigation strategies beforehand. This proactive approach reduces the chances of unexpected problems derailing the project. Clearer expectations, all stakeholders involved, team members, clients, etc., have a clear understanding of what needs to be done, when, and by whom. This leads to a more transparent and predictable project execution. Increased success rates, studies have shown that projects with well-defined plans are more likely to be completed on time, within budget, and meet their objectives. Maintaining your project plan. Regular updates, the project plan is a living document. As the project progresses, it's crucial to update the plan with actual durations, completed tasks, and any changes to the scope or schedule. Communication is key, regularly communicate project plan updates to all stakeholders. This ensures everyone is aware of adjustments and can adapt accordingly. Review and revise, schedule regular project reviews to assess progress, identify roadblocks, and revise the plan as needed. This ensures the project stays on track and adapts to changing circumstances. Additional tips, set realistic goals, always factor in buffer time when estimating task durations to account for unforeseen issues. Involve your team, get input from team members during the planning process. This fosters ownership and increases buy-in for the project goals. Use visuals, utilize tools like Gantt charts or Kanban boards to visualize the project timeline and workflow. This provides a clear picture of the project's progress for everyone involved. Celebrate milestones, acknowledge and celebrate the completion of major project milestones to keep team morale high and motivation strong. By following these tips and effectively using project plans, you can significantly increase your chances of project success. Remember, a well-crafted project plan is a powerful tool that can guide your team towards achieving its goals. Introduction to Kanban Boards Kanban Board in Action, Larry Jeffers Race Cars, 6 Summer Edition, Enhanced, Larry Jeffers Race Cars, LJRC, leverages Kanban Boards to meticulously prepare their 1974 Torino, Screeching Hawk, for 6 Summer 2024. This grueling five-day drag and drive event across the Midwest pushes both car and crew to their limits. Here's how LJRC uses a Kanban Board to achieve peak performance with measurable results. Project, prepare Screeching Hawk for 6 Summer. June the 9th to the 14th, aiming for a top 5 finish and a high 6 second quarter mile elapsed time, ET, surpassing their previous best by a staggering 0.7 seconds. Kanban board setup, columns, to do, 7 tasks, engine dyno tune, estimated time, 2 days, goal, increase horsepower by 15% aerodynamic assessment and component selection, 1 day, target, reduce drag coefficient by 2% procurement of high performance lightweight parts. One day, focus on critical components like wheels and brakes installation of upgraded camshaft and valve springs, two days, expected power gain, 20 horsepower performance suspension tuning, two days, enhance handling and stability for various track conditions trailer and equipment loading, 0.5 days, 
ensure all that necessary tools and spares are packed final safety inspections, 0.5 days, guarantee car meets all race safety regulations in progress, limited to two tasks, manages workload and ensures quality control. Testing, limited to one task, final adjustments and shakedown runs occur here. Done, completed tasks verified by the crew chief, for example, paperwork finalization. Cards, each card details a specific task assigned to a team member and includes, title, brief description, for example, Dynotune Screeching Hawk Engine. Assigned to, crew member responsible, for example, Michael, lead mechanic. Estimated time, anticipated duration, for example, two days. Target completion date, calculated based on estimated time and event schedule, for example, June 7th. Actual completion date, filled in upon task completion. Workflow and metrics, task breakdown and estimation, crew chief, Michael, meticulously breaks down prep work into actionable tasks, assigning them and estimated times on the Kanban board. Target completion dates consider experience and the six summer itinerary. Task progression, as mechanics work, cards move across the board. Daily stand-up meetings facilitate communication and problem solving. If a task exceeds estimated time, causing a block day, Michael adjusts the workflow by reassigning tasks if needed, for example, if a mechanic encounters difficulties, another might assist. Updating target completion dates for dependent tasks to maintain the overall schedule. Performance monitoring, Michael tracks key metrics to assess progress and identify improvement areas, cycle time, average time a card spends in in progress and testing, target, under 1.25 days. Task completion rate, percentage of tasks completed within estimated time, target, 90%. Budget variance, difference between planned and actual project expenses, target, less than 3% variance. Benefits of using a Kanban board, enhanced visibility, the board provides a real-time overview, allowing Michael to identify potential delays and take corrective actions swiftly. Optimized resource allocation, limiting tasks in in-progress minimizes bottlenecks and ensures efficient crew utilization. Early problem detection, Daily stand-up meetings ensure issues are addressed before significantly impacting the race schedule. Focus and prioritization, the Kanban board keeps the team focused on critical tasks for achieving a top 5 finish and a high 6 second DT. Measurable outcomes, project completion, Screeching Hawk is fully prepared for 6 summer within budget and ahead of schedule, by 0.5 days. Improved efficiency, through the Kanban board, LJRC identifies areas for streamlining future project workflows potentially reducing cycle time by 0.15 days. This translates to completing similar projects a third of a day earlier. Teamwork and communication, the Kanban board fosters better communication and collaboration, leading to a 7% improvement in task completion rate within estimates. Race performance, Screeching Hawk secures a phenomenal 3rd place finish and achieves a record race-breaking high 6 second DT, surpassing their goal by a staggering 0.7 seconds. This accomplishment places them firmly in contention for overall event honors. Here's how the Kanban board system is credited for these impressive results, data-driven decisions, by tracking metrics like cycle time and task completion rates, Michael was able to identify areas for improvement and optimize workflows throughout the preparation process. This resulted in a car that was meticulously tuned and ready to dominate on the track. Enhanced team communication. The Kanban board fostered a collaborative environment where team members could easily communicate progress and roadblocks. This ensured everyone was on the same page and working towards the same goal. Focus and prioritization, the visual representation of tasks and deadlines kept the team focused on the most critical aspects of car preparation. This ensured that no vital detail was overlooked in the pursuit of peak performance. Larry Jeffers' race car success at SIG Summer 2024 serves as a testament to the effectiveness of Kanban boards in project management. By implementing this system, LJRC achieved significant improvements in efficiency, communication, and overall performance. With Screeching Hawk now a proven force on the drag strip, the team looks forward to continued success and pushing the boundaries of speed in future races. Kanban boards explained. What are Kanban boards? Visual project management tool for tasks and workflows. Can be physical, whiteboards, poster boards, or digital, software. Well suited for agile project management with iterative releases. Purposes of Kanban boards, provide a quick visual overview of project details. Facilitate task handoffs between team members. Help track metrics and improve workflows. Using a Kanban board, 
gather information, tasks, status, dates, durations. Create columns representing task stages, for example, to do, in progress, testing, done. Use cards, for example, sticky notes, to represent tasks and move them across columns as progress is made. Consider adding rows for resources, team members, to visualize workload. Creating Kanban cards, include key details like title, ID, brief description, effort estimate, and assigned person, front. Optionally include start date, blocked days, delays, and finish date, back. Kanban board software, popular options include Asana and Trello. Many software tools available, choose the best fit for your project needs. I'm here to help you practice and reinforce your understanding of the key concepts related to project planning and time estimation. Question 1. What are the components of a project plan? Imagine you're building a giant pizza. A project plan is like a recipe to make sure your pizza is the cheesiest, most delicious masterpiece ever. Here's what it includes. The goal. What kind of pizza are you making? For example, supreme, veggie. This is like Larry Jeffers race car's goal, to build a super fast race car that wins. The steps, tasks, what do you need to do to get that pizza done? For example, make the dough, gather trappings, bake it. Larry Jeffers race cars also has many steps, like designing the car, ordering parts, and assembling it. Idaira Sisadilla. Who's on kitchen duty, people, who's helping you make this pizza masterpiece? For example, you, a friend. Similarly, Larry Jeffers Race Cars has different people for each task. Engineers design, mechanics build, and painters make it look sharp. Add the timeline, when do you need each step done? For example, preheat oven before adding toppings. A project plan keeps Larry Jeffers Race Cars on track, ensuring parts arrive and each step is done on time for the race. The ingredients, resources, what do you need to make this pizza? For example, flour, cheese, Pepperoni, Larry Jeffers race cars also needs a bunch of stuff, like metal for the car's body, a powerful engine, and special tools. Why Larry Jeffers race cars? Idiaris's Sedilla building a race car is like making a giant pizza, it has a lot of moving parts. Larry Jeffers race cars is a great example because their project involves many things to keep track of, just like all the ingredients and steps in your pizza recipe. A project plan helps them stay organized, make the race car on time, and ultimately, Win races. Question 2. How would you describe the process of making realistic time estimates in project planning? Project time estimates. How long will it take to build your dream treehouse, or race car? Building something cool, like a treehouse or, like Larry Jeffers race cars, a super fast race car, requires a plan. Part of that plan is figuring out how long each step will take. Here's how to make realistic guesses for your project. Break it down. Imagine your treehouse. What are the main parts? Walls, roof, ladder. Same with a race car, engine, chassis, wheels. Listing these steps helps estimate time for each. Think time spent, how long might building a wall take? Maybe an afternoon with a friend. Larry Jeffers race cars knows how long it usually takes to weld a chassis or install an engine. Consider hiccups, stuff rarely goes perfectly. Maybe you run out of nails for the treehouse, or a race car part arrives late. Adding buffer time for these unexpected delays is smart. Ask for help, not sure how long something takes? Talk to someone who's done it before. For Larry Jeffers race cars, experienced mechanics can estimate how long engine work might take. Why Larry Jeffers race cars? Building a race car is like building a complex treehouse. There are many steps, and some might be new to you. Larry Jeffers race cars is a great example because they have a lot of experience building race cars. They can use their past knowledge to estimate how long each step, like welding the frame or painting the car, will take to complete the project on time. By following these tips, you can create realistic time estimates for your project, whether it's building a treehouse or becoming the next champion racer like Luke Duke with Larry Jeffers race cars help. Question 3. Why is it important to overcome the planning fallacy in project planning? Project planning fails, why we underestimate time, and how Larry Jeffers race cars avoids it. Have you ever planned a project and thought it'd be a breeze, only to find yourself scrambling at the last minute? That's the planning fallacy in action. Here's why overcoming it's important. Time flies when you're having fun. We often underestimate how long things take. It's easy to forget unexpected delays or how much time small tasks can eat up. Imagine planning a movie marathon. You think three movies in four hours sounds easy. But what if there are long trailers, bathroom breaks, and popcorn refills? 
suddenly, it's getting late. Race against the clock, Larry Jeffers race cars can't afford this. Underestimating how long it takes to build a race car could mean missing a race or rushing the job, leading to mistakes. Budget blues, running out of time can also hurt your wallet. Rushed projects might require expensive last-minute solutions, blowing the budget. How Larry Jeffers race cars wins the time battle, experience is key, they've built race cars before, so they know how long tasks typically take based on past projects. Planning every step, they break down the project into small tasks and estimate the time for each, factoring in possible delays. Open communication, the team talks regularly, so if something takes longer than expected, they can adjust the schedule to stay on track. By overcoming the planning fallacy, Larry Jeffers race cars avoids project delays, avoids going over budget, and focuses on building the best race cars possible to win races. So remember, realistic time estimates are crucial for project success just like planning for those popcorn refills during your movie marathon. I'm here to help you practice and reinforce your understanding of the key concepts. Question 1. What are Gantt charts? Answer. Imagine a racetrack with hurdles for all the tasks you need to do for a project. A Gantt chart is like a visual road map for your project, showing those hurdles, tasks, and how long each one takes, distance on the track. Here's why Larry Jeffers Race Cars is a cool example. Their project is getting their car ready for a race, just like you might have a project due for school. The Gantt chart helps them see if they can finish everything in time, win the race, and make adjustments if needed. The Gantt chart is indeed a visual representation of project tasks and their durations. It helps project managers and teams to plan, schedule, and track progress. By visualizing the tasks as hurdles on a race track, You've captured the essence of how Gantt charts provide a clear overview of the project timeline and help identify any potential bottlenecks or delays. Question 2. How would you describe a complex project? Take a moment to think about it, and when you're ready, please provide your response. A complex project is like building a giant, working model of a city. It's not just one big thing, but a bunch of smaller things, buildings, roads, bridges, that all have to come together perfectly. Larry Jeffers Race Cars is a good example because getting their car race ready isn't just about one mechanic working on the engine. It involves many tasks, like ordering parts, tweaking different systems, and practicing pit stops, all happening at the same time and needing to be done just right to win the race. These may moving parts working together make it a complex project. I love your analogy of building a giant, working model of a city to describe a complex project. It highlights the interconnectedness and coordination required for various components to come together seamlessly. Just like in a complex project, where multiple tasks and activities need to be managed and synchronized, building a city involves numerous elements that must be carefully planned and executed. Question 3. What is the front of the card in the context of a project management tool? Take a moment to think about it, and when you're ready, please provide your response. Imagine a sticky note on a giant whiteboard that has all your project to-do items. In a project management tool, the front of the card is like that digital sticky note. It holds a short description of a specific task someone needs to do on the project. Larry Jeffers Race Cars is a helpful example because prepping their car involves many small tasks. The Kanban board they use is like a digital whiteboard, and each card stuck on it would have a task on the front, like install new brakes or test drive car. This way. Everyone knows exactly what needs to be done and who's doing it. That's a great explanation. The front of the card in a project management tool is indeed like a digital sticky note that holds a concise description of a specific task. It serves as a quick reference for team members to understand what needs to be done and who is responsible for it. Your analogy of a Kanban board and the tasks on the front of the cards is spot on. Just like the sticky notes on a digital whiteboard, each card represents a specific task that needs to be completed. By having a clear and concise description on the front of the card, everyone involved in the project can easily understand the task at hand and its associated responsibilities. I'm here to help you practice and reinforce your understanding of the key concepts. Question 1. Can you explain what project plan components are? Goals. What are you trying to achieve with this project? Like building a treehouse or creating a class presentation. Tasks. These are the steps you need to take to reach your goal. Breaking down the big goal into smaller tasks makes it less overwhelming. For your treehouse, tasks might be gathering materials, building the frame, and adding a roof. Schedule, how long will each task take, and when do you need to finish everything? This is like figuring out how many weekends it will take to build your treehouse. 
Resources. What tools and materials do you need? For the treehouse, you'd need wood, nails, a hammer, and maybe some help from a friend. Budget. How much will everything cost? This helps you stay on track and avoid going over budget on your awesome treehouse. You've mentioned some important components of a project plan, such as goals, tasks, schedule, resources, and budget. These components help provide structure and guidance for the project. Goals, what are they trying to achieve? Just like any race, their goal might be to win or achieve a specific speed, like a high six-second quarter mile time. Tasks, these are the steps needed to get the car race ready. Think of them like mini tasks on the pit crew checklist. Tasks could be installing new parts, tuning the engine, or practicing pit stops. Schedule, how long will each task take, and when does the car need to be finished? This is like figuring out how much time each pit crew member needs for their job before the race. Resources, what tools and parts do they need? The crew might need wrenches, screwdrivers, new tires, and a special tuning computer for the engine. Budget, how much will everything cost? This helps them stay on track and avoid going over budget on getting screeching hawk race ready. Every new part and tool adds to the cost, so they need to be mindful. Question 2. How would you describe the concept of task dependencies in project management? Imagine building a model race car like Larry Jeffers race cars uses. Task dependencies are like the order you need to follow to put the car together. Here's the idea. Some tasks can't be done until others are finished first. For example, you can't paint the car. Task B, until you put the body together, task A. Task A depends on finishing task B first. In project management, these are called task dependencies. They show how tasks are linked and which ones need to be completed in a specific order. Larry Jeffers Race Cars is a great example because getting their car ready involves many tasks with dependencies. They can't test drive the car, task C, until they install the engine, task A, and brakes, task B. Task C depends on both A and B being done first. This helps the crew chief plan their work. They know which mechanics can work on different tasks at the same time, tasks that don't depend on each other, and when to wait on others, tasks with dependencies. Task dependencies indeed play a crucial role in project management, ensuring that tasks are completed in the correct order and that the project progresses smoothly. Question 3. How would you describe the benefits of using Gantt charts in project management? Imagine Larry Jeffers race cars using a giant race track chart to plan getting their car, Screeching Hawk, ready for a race. That's kind of like a Gantt chart for project management. Here's why they're helpful, see the whole race, project, at once, the chart shows all the tasks, pit stops, needed, just like the whole race track shows all the laps. This helps the crew chief see everything that needs to be done. Know who's in the lead, tasks on track. Tasks are listed with bars showing how long each one takes, like how long each lap might take. This helps them see if tasks are on schedule to finish before the race, project deadline. Spot roadblocks, delays, the chart can show if tasks are overlapping or one is waiting on another to finish. This is like seeing a caution flag on the race track that might slow things down. By seeing this early, the crew chief can adjust their plans to avoid delays. Gantt charts help Larry Jeffers race cars stay organized and on top of everything, just like a good race plan helps them win. Gantt charts indeed provide a visual representation of the project timeline, allowing project managers to have a holistic view of the tasks, track progress, identify potential delays, and make necessary adjustments. Well done. Wrap up. ASENT's project plans are essential for guiding projects towards successful completion. A project schedule is a core component of the project plan, outlining tasks and their durations. Estimating time and effort accurately for each task is crucial for creating a realistic project schedule. Soft skills are important for effectively gathering time and effort estimates from team members. Gantt charts are valuable tools for visualizing project schedules with bars representing task durations and deadlines. Creating a well-defined project plan ensures a valuable source of information throughout both planning and execution phases. Module 2 Challenge Graded Quiz A cents 15 minutes A cents 10 total points available 10 total points Question 1 Which of the following are included in the project plan? Select all that apply 1. A. People B. Tasks C. Retrospectives D. Time A. People B. Tasks these are the specific actions that need to be completed to achieve the project goals. D. Time. 
This refers to the estimated time required to complete each task and the overall project duration. Here's why the other options are not typically included in the core project plan document. C. Retrospectives. Retrospectives involve reflecting on a completed project to identify areas for improvement. While valuable, they are not typically part of the initial project plan itself. They are conducted after project completion to inform future planning efforts. Question 2 A project manager creates a task to have 100 books delivered to the company's library. In the planning phase, how can the project manager account for the potential delays from the vendor? 1.A. Split the delivery task into subtasks for the vendor. B. Limit the number of books delivered. C. Communicate with the vendor daily. D. Add a project buffer. The answer is D. Add a project buffer. A project buffer is extra time added to the project schedule to account for potential delays. This helps ensure the project can absorb unexpected setbacks, like a vendor delivery delay, without missing the deadline. Here's why the other options are less effective for handling potential vendor delays. A. Split the delivery task into subtasks for the vendor. While this might help with overall task management, it doesn't directly address the potential delay from the vendor itself. B. Limit the number of books delivered. This wouldn't be ideal if the library needs all 100 books. C. Communicate with the vendor daily. Communication is important, but it doesn't guarantee there won't be a delay. A buffer provides time to handle unexpected delays even with good communication. Question 3 As a project manager, you notice a high number of uncompleted tasks. These open tasks could cause a delay in the project timeline. Which of the following steps will ensure the team still meets the deadlines? 1.A. Combine relevant subtasks into one large task. B. Identify the tasks with a fixed start date. C. Execute all tasks sequentially. D. Execute proper tasks in parallel. The answer is D. Execute proper tasks in parallel. When facing a large number of uncompleted tasks that threaten the project deadline, the best course of action is to identify tasks that can be completed simultaneously, in parallel, without impacting each other. This helps the team make the most of their available time. Here's why the other options are not ideal for this situation. A. Combine relevant subtasks into one large task. While this might seem efficient, it can actually make tasks more complex and harder to manage. B. Identify the tasks with a fixed start date. Focusing solely on tasks with fixed start dates might not address the overall issue of uncompleted tasks causing delays. C. Execute all tasks sequentially. This sequential approach could significantly lengthen the project timeline, making it harder to meet deadlines. Parallelizing tasks where possible helps to compress the schedule. Question 4 A project manager notices a teammate provides a time estimate for a task that is higher than expected. The project manager learns the cause is due to personal reasons. The project manager listens and communicates with the team member to plan new options to meet the deadline. What interpersonal communication skill did the project manager use? 1.A. Asking the right questions B. Using patience C. Practicing empathy D. Negotiating effectively The answer is C. Practicing empathy Empathy involves understanding and sharing the feelings of others. In this scenario, the project manager listened to the teammate's explanation, personal reasons, and considered their perspective when planning alternative solutions. Here's why the other options are relevant but not the best fit for this situation. A. Asking the right questions. While asking questions can be part of effective communication, it doesn't necessarily imply understanding the teammate's emotions, personal reasons. B. Using patience. Patience is important, but it's a broader skill. Empathy focuses on understanding the reason behind the teammate's situation. D. Negotiating effectively. Negotiation is more about reaching an agreement, which might be part of the solution, but empathy focuses on recognizing and understanding the teammate's emotional state. Question 5 Which of the following should you include in a project plan that are essential for project success? Select all that apply. 1.A. All project tasks B. Links to tasks in previously successful projects C. Specifically who are completing what tasks D. A timeline of when the team will complete the tasks. A. All project tasks, a comprehensive list of all tasks needed to achieve the project goals is crucial for understanding the scope of work and ensuring everything is covered. C. Specifically who are completing what tasks, assigning ownership of tasks to specific team members ensures accountability and clarifies workflows. D. A timeline of when the team will complete the tasks, 
A project schedule with deadlines for each task helps the team stay on track and manage their time effectively. Here's why the other option is not essential for every project plan. B. Links to tasks in previously successful projects. While referencing successful projects can be informative, it's not always applicable, especially for unique projects. The focus should be on the specific tasks required for the current project at hand. Question 6. Which of the following strategies follow project plan best practices? Select all that apply. 1.A. Ask your team members daily if they are able to meet the deadlines they have for their tasks. B. Ask your team members to identify risks that will most likely occur, and create plans to prevent or mitigate those risks. C. Ask yourself if the information in your plan is clear enough for stakeholders to understand. D. Ask team members questions about their work to gain deeper insights into their tasks for the project. B. Ask your team members to identify risks that will most likely occur, and create plans to prevent or mitigate those risks. Proactive risk identification and mitigation is a crucial element of project planning. C. Ask yourself if the information in your plan is clear enough for stakeholders to understand. A well-defined project plan should be clear and easy to understand for all stakeholders involved. D. Ask team members questions about their work to gain deeper insights into their tasks for the project. Encouraging open communication and understanding team member perspectives can help refine the project plan and ensure tasks are realistic and achievable. Here's why the other option is not necessarily a best practice. A. Ask your team members daily if they are able to meet the deadlines they have for their tasks. While communication is important, daily micromanagement can be counterproductive. Trusting your team and having regular check-ins is generally a more effective approach. Question 7 As a project manager, you are midway through the execution phase and notice there are still many tasks to complete for the project. How can you help ensure the project can still be completed on time? 1.A. Keep quiet about your concerns and be more optimistic to help the team. B. Document the concerns about the task list and instruct your team to work faster. C. Assign more tasks to team members who appear to have time available. D. Review the task list with team members and stakeholders to eliminate unnecessary work. The answer is D. Review the task list with team members and stakeholders to eliminate unnecessary work. Here's why this is the best course of action. Reviewing the task list, taking stock of outstanding tasks helps identify potential areas for streamlining or eliminating unnecessary work. Involving team members and stakeholders, their input can be valuable in identifying tasks with lower priority or those that can be combined or removed altogether. Focus on completion. The goal is to ensure the project is completed on time, and this might involve prioritizing critical tasks and eliminating less essential ones. Here's why the other options are not ideal. A. Keeping quiet and being optimistic. While positivity is good, ignoring potential issues can lead to bigger problems later. B. Documenting concerns and instructing the team to work faster, this can lead to burnout and decreased quality. It's better to find ways to work smarter, not just harder. C. Assigning more tasks to available team members, this might overload them and impact overall project quality. It's better to reevaluate task priorities before adding more work. Question 8 Fill in the blank. The blank is the tendency to underestimate the amount of time it will take to complete a task. 1.A. Feedback fallacy B. Confirmation bias C. Anchoring bias D. Planning fallacy The answer is D. Planning fallacy. The planning fallacy is a cognitive bias that leads people to underestimate the amount of time it will take to complete a task. Question 9 As a project manager, you are tasked with creating a critical path for a project. You have identified the tasks and determined the dependencies. What is the next step? 1.A. Conduct a forward pass of the network diagram. B. Verify with stakeholders. C. Contact project vendors to start their work. D. Start the execution of the project. The answer is A. Conduct a forward pass of the network diagram. After identifying tasks and dependencies in a project, the next step to create a critical path involves calculating the earliest start and finish times for each task. This is typically done through a forward pass calculation on a network diagram, which visually represents the tasks and their relationships. Question 10 Fill in the blank. A Kanban board utilizes cards placed in columns to blank. 1.A. Organize documents B. Manage tasks C. Set the timeline D. Estimate the budget. The answer is B. Manage tasks. Kanban boards are popular project management tools that use cards to represent individual tasks. 
These cards move across different columns on the board, typically representing stages like to do, in progress, and done. This visual approach helps teams track progress, identify bottlenecks, and collaborate effectively on managing tasks.